You know, you know, every artist um, always work in, in, a, in a kind of wish to make this final masterpiece. But masterpiece doesn't happen that way. Masterpiece, sometimes you, you make something that you don't even know is going to be masterpiece. It's some kind of reaction almost biological of nerve system of the audience. You know, like, like uh, when you think about, I don't know, Jackson Pollock, or you think about Rothko, especially Rothko, which I, or Van Gogh. There is a, some kind of nerve system reaction of your brain into this kind of painting that attracts you than anything else. And this is because there's some kind of harmony or there's some kind of um, the perfection, of almost the il illumination of artists himself doing that, that, that moment, who can transport to everybody else. And then become masterpiece, you know. I, this is a, but also every society, you know, create their own masterpieces because it's a projection of a society, a state of mind of society is to the work. You know, sometimes one thing resonates and sometimes need 300 years to resonate something else. I mean, just in case of El Greco, I mean, it took 100 years to be discovered in the first place. So, you know, it's all about the, 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 the society and some societies are... Uh, the, some artists are so much in advance of society that takes so many times to to sink in, you know. So this is why it's very important work of art to ha be multidimensional, to many to have many meanings, so that every society can take part he needs at the moment. But it's only one dimensional, then you know it just die very soon. But uh, you know, good work of art have many lives.